Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again today, and today I'm doing a requested video by someone who was watching my channel update uh, from a month ago. They said they wanted new content and they suggested an everyday carry video. Um, if you guys like this video at the end, please like and subscribe because I will be doing more if you guys approve of this. That being said, let me preface. My EDC is actually my everyday carry. EDC. Um, a lot of YouTubers and, and videos and channels and even articles and Instagram posts, they post like, I wouldn't call it EDC. They post what I would call everything carry. ETC. That's not a real abbreviation. I'm making it up. But that's what I see them post. Because no one is, unless they have a backpack or a, a purse or what, a purse, no one's carrying that much stuff that you generally see. So that being said, here's my everyday carry. Um, there are some tidbits that I don't carry every day because I have duplicates, so I switch them out. First, let's start with a duplicate. This is my uh, Jotter, Parker Jotter stainless steel pen. Got it on Amazon on a flash deal. I love stainless steel pens. Works really good. I'm going to mod it and add a Fisher Space Pen insert to it uh, soon. But I carry this when I'm not carrying this pen, which I'll get into later. So I'm going to move this out of the side. You can buy this on Amazon. Next is my Star Wars Hank. This is by Blue Label Hanks on Instagram. It doesn't have a store, just has Instagram. Very small batches. Um, this is, uh, you see Princess Leia, Han, Luke. C-3PO, R2-D2, and Vader. And then on the other side of the Hank is the ships from Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I love Hanks. I carry this only when I'm not carrying this new Hank, which is my Hanks by Hank Starry Night Hank. Just got this in. Um, I'll, I'll be trading these out. I carry at least one Hank every day. Next, moving on to my wallet. Um, this is my Coach Bifold Wallet, Coach New York. Um, I'm not going to open it up because my cards are in there and I don't really want to show my ID or anything. That being said, I carry this every single day. I s decided to spend a little bit more money on a wallet by Coach this time because I wanted quality that would last. My previous wallets only lasted three to six months. This has lasted ten months, no issues so far. Little tears, a little threading, but not that bad. Uh, next... Chapstick, you can buy this at a pharmacy or Amazon. Burt's Bees, this is the peppermint and vitamin uh, combination. I used to ch carry chapstick, I carry this because my lips get chapped a lot. I have bigger lips and that being said, um, I, I watched a documentary on Netflix about Burt, the kind of founder of Burt's Bees and it was really interesting. Um, I know he sold the company and the name but I still really back their products. Natural, 100%, I like that. Uh, next, this is my Victoria Knox Travel Nail Clippers. Um, I got them on Amazon, I love them. If you see my nails right now, they're really long. So if I'm running late in the morning, I'll bring these with me. And I have a, a portable, small pair of nail clippers. They fold very easily. If I go like that, they're folded, they have a little key fob, I don't put them in a key fob, I put them in my pocket. And yeah, I love these guys. Next is my phone, Galaxy S8 Plus. I'm not turning it over because it has my emergency information on the front in case of emergencies. It's called ICE in case of emergency info. I recommend you all do an ICE screen on your phones, they all have them. Um, that being said, the case is a poetic justice case from Amazon. Costs about $15 to $20. Uh, this is the second of the same model I bought of the case because they warp after about six months to a year. So I don't recommend the case. I just have it because it has a nice grip. It's black and it's all right. I probably will update to a Nomad case sooner or later or if I upgrade a phone. Next, this is my belt carry. Um, I think you call them a seat. Um, I put this on my belt every day, inside of it, a buck 55 knife. I use all my knives, this is tarnished, I should polish it soon, 
Yeah, small knife. Every knife I carry is legal to carry concealed within the uh, Los Angeles city limits because that's where I work. This is my biggest knife in my collection. I do carry this every day except when I go to concerts or events or uh, courthouses or government buildings because it's intimidating. Um, it's not that big, it's still within legal knife limits for LA. That being said, it's intimidating when you open it or when you show it. It looks like a weapon. Um, it can be used as a weapon, but I would not. I use this for box openings mainly, or cutting apples, things of that nature. I do use it every day, you'll see some wear. The lanyard is something I made. I have multiples, you can see another one there. Uh, I didn't want to spend 15 to 20 dollars on a lanyard online on Etsy or, or Amazon, so I went to Michael's or Joann's, one of the two craft stores, I bought 550 paracord, some bead skulls, and I made this after watching a couple YouTube videos. If you guys want one or interested, let me know. Uh, I, I can't give them for free, but I will sell them ultra cheap just for materials pretty much in shipping. Um, next, this is my Hitch uh, by Tim, or Hitch and Timber pocket slip, I believe, or maybe this is the run. It's one of them. Um, I've got a pen here. This is a Zebra F701 mixed with a 401. I made this myself. There's a video on my channel where I made this because the 701 has a plastic end here and I wanted an all steel pen. I also put a Fisher Space Pen insert in it. So that is in it. Um, it's really a nice modded pen. I really like it. Um, I only carry this pen when I don't have this, as I said, because I carry, I don't carry multiples. I carry one of everything. Finally, this is my Victoria Knox uh, Spartan, I believe. I could be wrong. I don't use this that much because I have other knives, but I love carrying a cork here, toothpick, a little screwdriver in the cork when I'm not using the cork. It's great. I do use it. You can see scuffs all over it. But I use my tools. And that's it for the tools. Next, the final thing. It's going to be a long one, guys, so bear with me. This is my key everyday carry. First, my Honda uh, fob with a silicon cover from Amazon. Um, next, my Laco remove before flight. A little key fob carry. I love these things to remove before flight. Um, next is my Triumph Motorcycles little leather fobet, I guess you would call it. I like Triumph Motorcycles and Ducati, that's why I'm carrying it. Next, my SDE Now flashlight, 200 lumens, twist to turn on, USB rechargeable. I like it, I like the color, and I like that it faded the same as my carab carabiner, I think they call them. I'm um, here. It's faded the same. Um, this is a mountain climbing carabiner because uh, I've broken the ones that say not for climbing use before, and I wanted something that's going to last forever. Bought it for ten dollars on Amazon. It's called. It's by a company called Madrock. It locks. It unlocks. It's amazing. It can hold, I believe, a thousand pounds. So it can hold like, you know, five of me pretty much. Next is my Tile Sport because I lose my keys a lot, and yeah, I like tiles. Finally, the all-in-one package, it is my slate key bar. Um, you slip this out, you, gotta, you slip your keys out essentially, like a Swiss Army knife, almost like a Victoria Knox, and you've got tools and such. Um, I do not like this now because it's faded, Very, it's gone cheap. Um, in about six months, so um, I, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, that being said, I have modded a USB here. I didn't buy this uh, like this. I modded it. It had a hole at the end for a keychain. I put a little rivet point from Lowe's in there. You can make a video on that if you guys want to see that. But it basically saves you like fifty dollars. You can buy this USB for like ten or five dollars, and then the rivet for two dollars. You, you spent like ten dollars on a whole setup. Anyways, guys, that's my 2018 EDC from Fun with AJ. If you like this video, please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. 
Uh, the more subscribers I get, the more content like this I will make. I don't get paid for this stuff yet. Uh, I probably won't. We'll see ever. Um, but that being said, if you guys like this content, I can do more. One thing that's coming up in a video, I will be... I did order a KeySmart, I believe, Pro, um, to upgrade this. That way I can ditch this guy. And I'll be able to ditch this guy. And I'll be able to ditch this guy, because the KeySmart Pro has a tile in it that's rechargeable. Has a flashlight in it that's pretty weak, but it's a flashlight, so I can ditch this guy. And it has a key holder, of course, because that's what it's there for. So, that's coming up, guys. I'll unbox that. If you have any more suggestions, let me know in the comments. Until next time, it's your friendly neighborhood. Fun with Dave.